there, everybody. It is me, Life Simmer, and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 3 Ambitions. Hi, remember me? <laughs> what? What? Okay. Really awkward beginning of this video. I'm sorry for that. Okay, this the beginning of this video is seriously so awkward. Hey guys, hope you're doing well. There we go. We're gonna start it with that, I guess. <laughs> so currently Isabella is at work. Um she's like laughing at us. She needs to come up here and maintain everything because it's looking pretty disgusting. Or I mean it looks fine, but I'm sure it wouldn't run all that well. So Isabella is going to work on that, and I also think she needs to work on her athletic skill a little bit more, considering, I mean, e it's not all that great, and also her handiness skill is not quite up there either, so handiness and athletic skill, we need to work on it in this part. Um, let's see, what's up with Portia? I wrote like a list of things that we need to do in this part, but um, oh, she needs to go report her findings this morning of the missing car case, how we kind of figured it out in the last part, and Benny Boy, he got the minor. We, yes, yes, oh, oh, there it is. We battled with the Dwarf King in the last part. We need to go ahead and drill another hole, so I'm going to have him come do that. Drill another hole. And Alexander's looking out the window. Man, he is something else. Alexander, I just don't know. Something's up with him. Very weird, very weird. Um, Alexander's good for now, but I'm going to have him do some laundry. Or you know what? Just clean the whole house, buddy. Um, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, Ben's going to go ahead and do his thing. I don't think... Yeah, Isabella's just doing her job. Good for her. All right, so we're gonna come back to Mr. Ben in a second. <gasps> no, it's still a squirrel. I wanted another Chippy. Chip, show him the door. We're gonna start saying that. Chippy, show him the door. <laughs> oh, and I also put like, okay, guys, I know, I know. This is the ugliest effing garden ever. I know this, okay? This is temporary, I promise. If I ever went to somebody's house and I saw this, I'd be like, why? Why even try? I know, it's so ugly. This is just temporary until I get some freaking plants grown and stuff, and then I'm gonna make it really pretty and we're gonna put stone sculptures in it. But for now, we have that, okay? <laughs> Let's head over to Isabella really quickly. Um, you know what? I should have Portia go report her findings. We'll go with her in a sec. I just want to make sure that there's, like, no emergencies or anything. And I also want to talk to Justin. Maybe take him out on a date. Huh? Huh? Maybe. But yeah, she's going to go work on the bell now. And I feel like there's going to be an emergency. I don't know why. I just, I have a feeling. All right. So we're going to go with Portia to go report her findings. She needs to get off the computer. Go do your thing. And apparently Ben dug up titanium and look at Chippy, he's sleeping with his eyes. Oh, oh, what was, oh, oh, Chippy. Love you. <gasps> it's like we're like in him. Okay, anyways, I love Chippy. Chippy, um, Chippy Bay. Chippy Bay, guys, that's that's his real name, Chippy Bay. Uh, ben dug up a reasonably valuable gem. Nice find. You know what I really want to happen? I don't want gems. I don't want cars. <gasps> knew it! I knew it! I want an earthquake. Is that bad? <laughs> and I believe this is our new uniform as well. Now we, it's a black uniform, which is so much, I don't know, just very professional. Professional is the best way to put it. Oh, and I can't even go in. I hate these adventures. I'm not a these are not adventures. These are emergencies. There's a difference. But yeah, I can't even go in. So I guess I'm going to go with Porsche over here to go heckle somebody. We're going to heckle somebody. That's totally what I told her to do, right? Go report your findings. Is she inside? Nope, she just came up. That's right. That's right. Come here, Mrs. Curious. Ugh, the curious. Stop it. Go report your findings. Go report your findings. Imagine. She is an elder. Imagine if she, like, died on us. Like, right here, before we could tell her. That'd be awkward. Kabana to Patu. Patu. Alright, cool, cool, cool. The case of the wayward Jalopy rolls to a finish. The client is sad to see that her beloved car went to the way of a Jimmy Two-Shoes, but at least she got enough from the refund to buy a new reliable auto. 
Porsche has earned 650 simoleons and job experience. Oh, and Benny Boy's little minor is done, so we're about to head over there. And I feel like I'm going to go have her head to the consignment shop for Ben since Ben's working with this minor. And I really, really, really want to go here. So I'm going to have her go, I guess, shopping for Ben. And um, he's over here kicking a soccer ball. Alexander's just watching. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and check out the hole. That's what he said. Just kidding. Just, just kidding, guys. Oh, don't fill it in. He's going to go investigate that. Um, you barely made it through a hallway before for floor collapses below you. Okay, so I guess that's pretty intense over there, whatever she's dealing with. Ben has entered the tunnels with a mixture of nervousness and excitement. Who knows what underground adventures await? And Alexander actually needs to use the pony. He cleaned the whole house like a good little boy. He's a good little boy, guys. He's not a man. That's a man right there. That's a, that's a, that's a man. Alexander's just a little boy. Yeah, he is going to go inside, use the toilet, and then... Oh, I put in... I, I, yeah, I put in the baking station. You guys know how much I love it, but Alexander has available ghost work to do, so, oh, just kidding, it's time for work. Sorry, Alexander, I was gonna have him go do something fun, but never mind, you have work to do, so. Get to work! <laughs> what a knee slapper, huh? <laughs> Get to work! <laughs> no? <laughs> I'm a mess right now, but yeah. Oh! Yay, she did it, okay. She got an A, took her two hours, 45 minutes, and her work hours are over, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, she's good for the day, and she maintained pretty much everything. So I'm going to have Isabella really quickly maybe invite Des out for lunch or brunch or Justin. Actually, Justin. He probably will be like, sorry, I'm busy for another 48 years. <laughs> so see? Sorry. I'm about to head out in a few minutes. Try calling back in about nine hours. Who, what, where, what? What? All right. I guess we're going to invite Des out then because we're hungry. We need to go eat. And nine hours? Is he serious? And then I'll call back in nine hours and he'll be like, um, just kidding. Call me back in like three days. Sure. That sounds like fun. Let's meet there. See, Des is such a good friend. We haven't hung out with him in a while. So we're going to go grab a bite to eat. Maybe a good burger or a hot dog and some fries with ketchup. That sounds delicious. <laughs> Oh, I never even realized these awesome railroad tracks. Um, railroads are really fascinating. I don't know why. <laughs> They're so fascinating to me. Maybe because... Do you guys see that grass back there, girl? Ready, Han? Watch her hair. Okay, guys? Same game. One more time. One more time. Eh! One more time. Just kidding. One more time. Whoa! But yeah, railroads are really fascinating because they're so old to me, I guess. They're not even like super, super old. I mean, I guess they kind of are, but I, I just think they're so cool and vintage. <laughs> wow, okay, okay, I'm a mess. Any hoozles. We got a notification from Ben that he, like, was under there. He discovered a village of gnomes living deep down below the surface. What's up with gnomes? They are hard to understand, but Ben thinks they are either making him their ruler or they're going to eat him. Okay, that's rather scary. There's a gnome back here that's like, I sent him. I sent him. Well, it looks like Ben may be eaten down there, which is quite interesting. And Alexander, go. You ate your apple pancakes. Now you need to go to work. Let's go. Alexander. Ooh, that new uniform. Like I said, looking very professional. Get it, boo. Yes. And oh, Ben's back. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Ben had a few close calls, managed to escape mostly unscathed. During the adventure, he gathered up a ginseng seed. <laughs> I can never say that. Seed, lapis lazul, and a smoky quartz. Probably got that all wrong, but all right. So we got some stuff. I guess that's kind of cool. Uh, worth 20 smoleons. <laughs> never mind, not cool at all. But he wants to do what with this? Mine some metal? Find some gems? That's so sad. I wonder if I jump in this hole again, if I can investigate it once more. I'm going to go ahead and try it. We'll see. Hopefully he comes back in one piece. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to go ahead and, I guess, go with Alexander to work today. Is Isabella... All right, she's going to have dinner and dessert. Ooh, hoo -hoo. And Portia is going to... Oh, she's at the consignment shop. Oh, I'm supposed to... oh it's closed now. 
Oh my gosh. The disappointment is real. Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> All right. I actually want her to come friends with somebody. So I think I'm going to have her invite Lully Rucket out. Why not, right? To the spring festival, maybe? I think that'd be a lot of fun. Or you know what? Yeah. Okay. I was going to have her like go make out with people at the spring festival because that's like the normal thing to do, right? I think I'm going to spend my Monday night making out with people at the fair. It sounds like a great time. No, I'm not interested right now. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> oh, it's DeAndre Wolf. He actually has some very valuable stuff in his garage that we might need to take. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, we can swipe stuff from the fair. Well, that would just be sad, Portia. She's actually going to come over here and dance and maybe become the Spring Fling Queen. I went there. Oh my gosh, this reminds me of Disney. This is amazing. Oh! Oh! Okay! Anybody else dancing right now? Because I know I am. Okay, I'm out of breath now. I was like actually dancing in my chair. Because that... Yes. Just yes. It reminds me of like Bratz, the video games. Good games, guys. Good games! Look, DeAndre Wolf. DeAndre Wolf is like loaded. It's not even right. Like, look over here. <gasps> I want that chopper. I want that chopper. Try scanning another room far, far away. Oh, but I will. Oh, what is this? Sinbad Rodder wants me to obtain some dirt on someone. I should check in with him to learn more about the case. Okay, we will do that, but, um. I have to stop! We don't need another one of those. Alexander, if I just want to break your little neck right now. I really do. I just want to break his little neck right now. Oh, and here's the rock star himself. Um, Portia's still over there dancing. I like how the music disappears when I... Oh, I just like how it disappears altogether. Uh, she's going home because it's raining now and it's 9 p.m. She's going home as well. That's fine. I didn't get to make out with anyone tonight. Ugh, bummer. We're definitely gonna have to uh, try that again and evict the ghost. Here he is. Kind of looks like a Fenderson. We're just going to take you out. <laughs> I'm a mess. <laughs> All right, well, goodbye, Mr. Okay, um, Roderick Sharp. I'm just kidding, it's not working. This is awkward. Okay, he did a twirl and to the banishing thingy majiggy. All right, coolness. Uh, we are going to go downstairs because apparently there's quite a bit of fog. Just kidding, there's like no fog down here. I feel like the fog does have something to do with it, but I could be wrong because there's not much fog left in the house. Um, I guess I can try out front, right? Ugh, the work. All right, we're going to, I guess, head inside. I guess I'm wrong about the whole <laughs> fog thing. I'm not quite sure. If you guys know, please do leave some comments down below. Cause I, hey, DeAndre, don't mind us. Don't mind us, buddy. No. Oh, we're here. Here's some fog. We're gonna scan over here. Love day is coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there one in here? No. How about the- how about the bathroom? That's where I would be if I was a ghost. Did he swipe something? I didn't- I didn't mean for him to swipe something! I just want him to- I guess we can swipe a couple more things, why not? I really want the chopper though, so I'd rather him just scan for what we need to do. Try another room far, far away. Where could it be? I'm about to give up on this one and just go steal some stuff. I'll go down to the basement, but don't mind me real quick. Game. <laughs> don't mind me. Got some, some stealing to do. Yes, boo! Yes! Yes! Okay, one more. Don't steal the car. He stole the light. Okay, good boy. I'm gonna try the basement down here. Our hours are almost over anyways. Like, we have one hour left of work, so... Uh, we, we might have to come back to this house if they would allow me to do so. Not quite sure. There we go. This room has gotten incredibly cold. Oh, he's listening to jazz. And 
a goodbye. All right, well, our hours are over, DeAndre. Thank you for a couple of your cars and a toilet and stuff like that. Anyways, I hope the final ghost doesn't get to you. <laughs> or do I? I kind of hope it does. All right, let's see how much these are all worth. I am definitely keeping the chopper. The dryer can go. The car is worth only 2,973 smolians. So <laughs> I have a couple of lights. A toilet? Oh, you know what? We're keeping that. We need good toilets. In this house? Oh, yes. We'll go ahead and sell this one right here and plop that bad boy down. <laughs> Do we need a toilet? And we're also really quickly going to purchase a... Where is it? Where is it? There we go. That's weird. It wasn't even popping up. That's pretty freaky. All right, well, here's Alexander's carb choice, guys. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, look how cool this motorbike is. Love it, love it. This is my my choice right here. Somehow I would ride that. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to, I guess, get this right here. And plop it down on the side of the house, maybe? Or no, actually. We'll put it at like an angle in the front. So it's like, oh, that's a nice bike when you roll up to our house. It's a stolen bike, buds. All right, put that there. We're going to customize it a little bit. I think this is definitely going to be Porsche's. Even though she didn't steal it. Actually, let's see. We'll do fabrics. And... Actually, themed, and we'll do flames, but not any sort of flames. It's going to be pink flames. So that's totally Porsche, right? Well, the new rebel Porsche, I would say. All right, lighten this up a little bit. I like the gorilla handles. Love, love, love. All right, and this will be pink. Actually, I liked it black. And this right here. I believe this is her seat. Yeah. Can be... No, that would mess it all up. It will just be pink. Like that. Like, yeah, like that. Wow, Portia, your new ride is looking pretty freaking awesome. Ooh, we can tune the exhaust too for 500 simoleons. We're just gonna go ahead and do that really quickly. And this will be obviously Portia's preferred vehicle. And Alexander just tuned the exhaust on the beast. Please, he wishes. He wishes. Uh, but I'm gonna have Portia, t like to wrap this part up, we're gonna go on a little ride. That was scary. We're gonna go to a community lot really quickly just to be, I guess, um, a badass. And we're gonna go to the graveyard, cause that's what the cool kids do, guys. That's what cool kids do. It's like 6 a.m. <laughs> Never mind, I thought it was gonna be like really cool and dark. Look at her face, like not rendered out. There we go. <laughs> wow, what a freaking badass, dude. Can't get over it. We're creepy going to the graveyard. She's just gonna go get some breakfast, I guess. Yeah, she'll go get breakfast instead of the graveyard. All right, so I am going to go ahead and end this part, everybody. Don't forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm sorry I haven't been uploading as frequently. It's been spring break and oddly enough, I know, crazy. I've actually had a little bit of a social life and I've been like, oh, let me enjoy this while I can because let's be real, nobody's going to hit me up anymore after spring break over. so I'm just going to throw that out there, everyone. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. I love you all so very, very much and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.